since water crashed through a dike. Authorities try to recontain the seemingly uncontainable. Vince Taylor lives in that gray house on the corner and says it took seconds for the water to take over. That levee that you see going out of the picture that way gave way behind our place about 3.30 and in about 45 seconds where you see that Hummer pushing through the water it was about six inches to 12, six inches to a foot deep in about 45 seconds and now it's about waist level, about four blocks of houses are totaled. It is a spectacular battle to watch, swallowing trucks, battering homes. I'm 88 years old, so I'm a little too old to get shook up over this. I have seen it pretty bad, but not this bad. We need to get some uh, fluids out here to some real thirsty soldiers. Soldiers scramble. They have no idea of the water status. They're just reacting. The guards in there working at trying to evacuate others. We're bringing boats in for the areas that they can't get with their trucks. After an hour, elderly people who couldn't make it out begin arriving in transport trucks. Oh, it was terrible over there. The water came in so fast, you just couldn't, uh, couldn't you, all you could do was get out of there, you know. That's all. They are battling the flood outside the 47th Avenue South, and I know they're still in need for sand out there. What little information they have is from the radio. They are confused, frightened, desperately want to know more. I see her, she shows up. Um, okay. I'll at least tell I got her a after. daughter that's missing. I can't find her. She's afraid it may be some time before she knows. And it will be more time before authorities know the status of all the people and all the homes across the bridge. What everyone knows is this battle is lost.